All right, we are going to get started and we are going to be making two risers and a bubblegum machine. I had found this piece at Dollar Tree, believe it or not, in their home decor section. Uh, they only had one or I would have grabbed more than one because these, this is going to make a awesome riser. All it needs is some feet. So I'm going to first start off by removing this tag. And I've got these little wooden cups. You can find these at Hobby Lobby for very inexpensive. They're little wood cups. And we're going to use these as the feet. And I'm just going to measure to make sure that they're pretty even. I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I will be placing these back down because I know once I pick them up, I'm going to lose track of that. And then we're going to use just some hot glue. <laughs> and voila, <laughs> we have a riser. Now, if you want to paint it a different color, of course you can paint it. Uh, you can make it look any way you want. I think I'm going to take maybe a little bit of antique wax and just go over these just to kind of make them a little bit browner. I'm just going to spritz my towel down with a little bit of water because I'm going to use this shop towel. Now, in hindsight, this probably would have been easier if I had done this before I put them on. Okay, paper towel won't get down in these little ridges without making a huge mess, so just touch those up with paintbrush. So, I don't know if we can really call that a DIY. It was so easy. So, if you can find this at the Dollar Tree, grab some. Okay, so this next DIY, we're just going to make a little riser. I have got one of these glass pieces that you can get from the Dollar Tree, usually in their candle section, but it is called a candle holder. I also got this little piece from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can find those also in the candle section. I'm going to remove this tag off this glass, which this one might be fairly easy. Yes, it didn't require any heat. Yay! So I am going to use some Gorilla Glue to put these pieces together. And this is also another fairly easy one. This little piece actually fits right down in these little pieces that stick up on the bottom of it. It fits in there perfect. I'm going to get some alcohol and wipe this down first. You always want to make sure you wipe down with alcohol. That'll get all your anything that's greasy, like your fingerprints, any kind of de dirt, debris, dust. That way you have a nice good hold with your glues. That's going to make an awesome riser. So let's go ahead. Some of this Gorilla Glue. All right, I'm just going to make sure it's got a really good hold. All right, and as far as paint color, I'm going to be spray painting it. I'm going to go ahead and use this flat protective enamel from Rust-Oleum. Okay, we got our little riser all painted, and I just did a light coat. There you have it. It's easy, simple Dollar Tree riser. <laughs> what, it costs $2.50 to make. OK, 
Okay, so apparently I was not recording and <laughs> I am in the process of getting some, a sticker off. Okay, in this project, we're going to be making a bubble gum machine. I was going to buy a bubble gum machine when I saw them in the Valentine's Day section at Hobby Lobby. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, I can make one of those. So that's what we're going to do. This is one of the 4.9 inch bubble vases that you can get from Dollar Tree. It's the large one. You're going to need a large terracotta pot from the Dollar Tree. You will need a one and a half inch ball knob from Hobby Lobby. It comes in this pack in the wood pile section. They're $6.99 for a bag. Of course, look out for them when they go on sale. Um, I'm not sure when that is. It used to be every other week, but they've changed it. And uh, I'm having a hard time figuring out when things are on sale. But let me know if you have that same problem. If you shop at Hobby Lobby and are trying to, are having a hard time adjusting to their sales, I will have another upcoming video where I will be using more of these wood knobs. You will also need, this is, doesn't come black, it comes unfinished wood. You can get them in a pack at Hobby Lobby in the wood pile section. I think they come two to a pack. It might be a little bit more than that. Um, but these are the four inch little wood, little wood rounds. Um, they've got the little beveled type edge inside. And this is going to make the perfect lid for one of these large bases. Then you're going to need some Gorilla Glue, paintbrush. I'll be painting Waverly chalk paint, some alcohol and we'll need some hot glue. Uh, the goo gum was to help get the sticker off of this because the heat couldn't get it all up. So I just went over it with the goo gum and that's as far as I've gotten until I realized that my camera wasn't even recording. We're also going to need one of these tabs off of a Coke can. I don't know if you can see that. Just one of the tabs where you pop it. <laughs> but you're gonna need one of those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna wipe this down with some alcohol, get that goo gone all up because we're gonna need it to stick when we get to that. And this glass, I am not gonna paint. I want it to be clear, just like a gumball machine. Set that aside for now. And in the meantime, I am going to paint my pieces in the Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm just going to sand my painted piece because it's got some dried up glue on it. However, if you've got one that's in its original state, you can skip this part. All right, before I paint it, I'm going to go ahead and glue this knob onto the center. That way I can just paint it all as one piece. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue and some hot glue to adhere this because I don't want this lid coming off. I want this to last. All right, and then I'm just gonna paint this white. If you want a different color, by all means, paint it whatever color you want. Paint it black, paint it pink, <laughs> paint it blue, green. You paint it whatever color you want. Now, because I painted this black in a prior project, it's definitely going to take more than one coat. But if yours was originally unpainted, it should only take one coat. Okay, I'm going to dry that down with my heat gun to speed up that process. I normally hate to paint where I'm going to be gluing, but you're going to be able to see this, so I don't really have a choice. So here goes nothing. Okay, so this piece, we're going to, I'm going to want to paint it black. I am going to also take this out in the garage and spray paint it with some black. And I am going to go ahead and paint 
a little bit on the inside and because I don't want somebody to pick it up look at it look at the bottom and once this is all dry since I'm using a chalk paint I am going to go ahead and coat it with the clear coat uh, just to keep it protected I don't want it to scratch or flake off and I gotta make sure it's all dry good though okay so for the clear coat I'm just gonna use Minwax water-based polyacrylic protective finish um, you can also use Mod Podge if you'd like uh, it's just up to you whatever you've got on hand but I've got this on hand and I like it a little better than the Mod Podge so I'm gonna put that on any piece that we painted. Huh. <laughs> Look at there. We use one of these Dollar Tree paper towel holders. Hold that upside down so I don't have to put it down and that ledge will stick. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, these pieces are all dry. So now it's time to put our glue, this on top. And we'll be using the Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. And I'm not gonna use any hot glue on this, so it'll dry. I've gotta wait for my paint to dry anyway, and it's cold in the garage, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. We're just gonna set this right on the center push it down and I'm going to use this just to hold some weight on it. All right, so this is just going to have let it dry overnight and then we'll get back to the project. But for you guys, it'll be the step of the finger. Well, we got our bubble gum machine all painted. The glue is dry and the only thing left is I've got to put this little tab right here just to give it appearance of the little gumball drop holes. And for that, I'm going to use an extra strength type of glue. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Starbond Medium Multi-Purpose Glue. Okay, it's had a chance to dry. I had to do a little bit of touch up with black paint because the glue kind of got on the front of it. But there we have it. Isn't it pretty? And oh my goodness, I can't get over how awesome this looks. We can fill it up with candy, anything really. But I love it. What do you guys think?